Hi my babies and welcome back to my channel. Now uh, today I'm going to do a unique sort of a sari draping tutorial for you all. This is known as the corg or corgi uh, style of sari draping and this is not way too much uh, prominent in the northern side of the country. That's why it I found it very unique and distinct, but it's quite a prominent style of sari draping in the southern side and I love the way it looked on uh, or it framed my body type. So I hope you all will enjoy today's video as well and if you people do don't forget to subscribe and like the video share the video because it's quite unique so you want others to know about it so let's just get started we uh, want to go ahead and start from a basic sari drape that is starting to tuck in the sari onto your petticoat and uh, taking an entire circle or just going ahead all around it and just making sure that everything is tucked into place pretty well that's what I am ensuring at the moment. Then I'm going to go ahead and find the fancy end of the sari, sari or what, uh, what you call it as the pallu end. And I'm just going to roughly pleat it. Now here you can see me. I'm just going ahead and pleating it really very roughly. It's not like a doing something specific or skeptic. And for this style you don't want way too much use of a pallu. So this much of a length is uh, enough somewhere around your hip area. Now what I am going to do is I am going to take a measurement right from the center of my backbone because that's where you want to tuck in your pleats. Now this is what is unique about the cork style of sari draping that your pleats are not uh, tugged in front but they are tugged at the back. So that's what you want to go ahead and do. You just need to measure the fabric because you couldn't pleat your sari at the back. So you will measure the fabric and come towards the front and then pleat it. And the measured fabric will be left out like that only creating a loop for a while and once you will be going ahead and shifting the pleats backwards the uh, the additional fabric which is hanging around will uh, definitely form a proper nice shape now you want to go ahead and tuck the sari in on uh, near your backbone like right, right onto your backbone like it should be in the center and the excess fabric is supposed to be you know inserted inside the petticoat as i'm showing you doing it at the moment it's just the same as the normal northern north indian style of basic drape it's just the pleats are supposed to be at the back so uh, that's what i'm doing i'm just ensuring that pleats are looking fine and crisp crisp at the back as well and then placing the pallu right onto my chest and uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin it at the right hand side as well as onto the left hand side with the help of a safety pin just to give it, gri uh, sorry, just to give it a grip or a hold and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, drape all around my sari in, a, in, in an anti-clockwise direction from underneath my left shoulder and I'm going to bring it over my right hand shoulder now uh, just remember this thing it should be underneath your left shoulder and over the right shoulder not onto the left shoulder now I'm taking a brooch this is something that I saw and found really very cute in this style while I was doing my research was that usually it's a brooch that holds the right hand side of the pallu in place so this is the finished look i hope you all have enjoyed this drape as well i personally love discovering distinct sort of sari drapes that are available throughout the country i hope you all are enjoying the series as well i'll see you guys in my next video till then stay blessed bye